With 2019 now in the books, we have a chance to reflect on a year full of legal and tax developments impacting our ag producers across the country. And joining us now to review the almost top 10 issues is Roger McGowan with the Washburn University School of Law. Thanks for joining us, Roger. And let's start with the Chapter 12 debt limit increase and the impact that that had on our farmers. Well, hi, Christina. Good to be with you today. And that was a big development in 2019, not quite big enough to make my top 10 list. But what happened with Chapter 12 was that the debt limit, uh, you can't have uh, over a certain amount of debt to be able to file Chapter 12 as a farmer, went from $4.4 million to $10 million, uh, for plans that are filed on or after August 23 of 2019. So we will see an increase in Chapter 12 filings in 2020. That doesn't necessarily mean things are worse off economically. What it means is that more farmers now are eligible for the special provisions of Chapter 12, not the least of which is to move IRS to the back of the line. <laughs> sure, a lot of people don't, don't hate you, you saying that this morning. Now, as usual, water regulations, they cause some confusion, specifically in regards to which government agency sues a farmer for a WOTUS violation. Yeah, this was another big development, not quite in the top 10, but we used to think that it was just the EPA that could bring an action against a farmer for violation, an alleged violation of a water of the United States rule or a Clean Water Act rule, but we had a case in 2019 that allowed the Army Corps of Engineers to really pursue a farmer on their own and get the Department of Justice involved to, to bring the lawsuit. I don't like that development because now we, we've got various government agencies that appear to be able to take a shot at farmers on this, and it, I thought the law was pretty clear that that power was vested just in the EPA. We'll have to see how that shakes out in the future. Absolutely. We'll be watching that closely. Now, also in regards to water, though, USDA's Swamp Buster rules. Give us a recap of those issues from 2019. Yeah, there was an incredible decision by the Seventh Circuit in 2019. That's the circuit that governs states such as uh, Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin. And they really hammered the USDA for the way that they tried to delineate uh, wetlands on a farm. And they said that the USDA violated their own processes. They actually lied in certain instances. And the court really had some harsh comments for the government agency as, uh, as they went about delineating those uh, swamp buster or those wetlands on a farm uh, for alleged swamp buster violations. Then there was another related development to this particular issue uh, where the court said that, no, the EPA, you cannot have on your advisory committees people that are already receiving grants, EPA grants, and uh, the EPA changed their rules on that, and the court upheld the rule change. So those are a couple of big developments that I think will impact farmers uh, and ranchers across the country favorably. Okay, now these are some of the items that made the list of your almost top 10. When will we get the full top 10? Well, probably the next time we visit, we'll start chunking through what the top 10 are. And there's some really significant developments in that top 10 with several cases involving the United States Supreme Court. So the U.S. Supreme Court still remains very important to farmers and ranchers. Looking forward to reconnecting with you. Roger McGowan with the Washburn University School of Law. Thank you for always keeping us up to date with ag law policy across the country.